everyone, this is Daniel Scranton, and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. Because knowing what you want helps us know who you are, what you value, and where you are on your evolutionary journey. We have witnessed you evolving. Over the years. And we have noticed that. Many of the requests. That we receive. Our requests for the collective, or they are requests for someone other than the person making the request.
This, of course, is a sign of spiritual evolution. And it's not that you have to force yourself to think about others first in order to be spiritual. or in order to grow spiritually. But you naturally seek to help others with their lives and their journeys once you have figured out how to give yourself everything that you need. You are source energy beings and therefore everything you could ever want exists inside of you. That's the real secret. The secret is not that there is a law of attraction that can bring you everything that you want and more. The secret is that everything you want is inside of you. And when a person realizes that, they are able to activate whatever they want within them and then they can just go about living without worrying so much, without working so hard, without stepping over someone else who is in need in order to get what they want, that person is fulfilled because they know who they really are and that what they contain inside of them is everything. So how do you get there? If you are still struggling to get something you want or to be in the perfect relationship, how do you get to that place of peace and of knowing that it's all inside of you? Well, you've got to make that effort and take those steps to look within yourselves for the possibility that you might already be whole and that you might already have everything that you need. Think about the person who gazes upon a flower and feels bliss for several hours. As opposed to the person who needs to pick that flower 
bring it home, put it in a vase, and watch it eventually die. There's a big difference there. If you seek all that you have ever wanted by going within, then what eventually happens is you get everything that you've ever wanted. But it doesn't seem as wonderful as you had always imagined it to be. Because it was never about having something. And it was always about being something and feeling something. We want you all to discover that with a little bit of focus and a little bit of attention to what's going on inside of you, you can be one who feels how you want to feel unconditionally. And you can teach others that secret and show them that the keys to the kingdom of heaven have always been inside of them. And we have enjoyed connecting with Unexpected calling out her <laughs> visit. <laughs> I don't even think she was in the house when I started. Um, now here she is, <laughs> gracing us with her presence. <laughs> um, someday maybe you'll get to meet her sister, Nuka. Uh, that would be great. Um, Nuka doesn't come in the house as often as we'd like. Um, but she has been coming in recently and uh, even sitting on a, a chair or a couch and uh, she's very, very skittish. So um, she could be sitting there and I'll get up to like get a drink or whatever and um, she'll run off. <laughs> even though she's known me her whole life. <laughs> I'm technically her father. <laughs> Oh, anyway, um, namaste, blessings to you and yours, and thank you for watching another uh, video here on the Daniel Scranton channel. I'm going to upload a video either tonight or tomorrow of me um, doing a little bit of uh, sound healing from, I was in the corner over there under the Buddha um, making that video today, and it just came out to exactly 11 minutes and 11 seconds. I had no idea. I can't, I, my eyesight is not that good. I, there's no way I could look. And I was recording it on my phone, so it would have been even harder to see the numbers. <laughs> um, 
So that's something to look forward to. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, the 15th, you're probably watching this on the 15th, wherever you are, is uh, my group healing event that I do. I'm going to start try to start doing them once a month. And uh, this month it's on February 15th, and uh, you can still sign up. I'm sure there's time, although there may not be, <laughs> depending on when you're watching this. But uh, you can set intentions for the healing uh, for something for you. You can even have three intentions. So you could do one for you, one for your loved one, and one for humanity. Um, so I'll put a link down there on YouTube and uh, on Instagram too. And if you're watching it somewhere else, it's uh, it's danielscranton.com slash group healing. I also have a video on my channel if you're interested in checking out me channeling Archangel Michael and uh, answering a few questions before I do from the uh, interviewer. Roxanne, that one's, uh, that one's there on my channel and um, it's a few videos back. You know, you click on the little picture of me down below to get to my channel and it's there and um, if you've never heard me channel Archangel Michael you might enjoy that because um, I don't I've been sticking with the Arcturian Council for so long with uh, these these little uh, daily or six times a week now messages <laughs> oh and I also have uh, accessing and developing your spiritual gifts three-week course coming up link below. Um, if there is no link below where you're watching it, it's danielscranton.com forward slash gifts to get to that page on my site. Starts on Wednesday. Um, I've got a beginner's channeling class coming up on the 1st of March, danielscranton.com slash learn. And my first ever learn to channel mega course with 18 hours of class time where we gather once a month for two hours and then there's a Facebook private Facebook group that we're all um, in together too and can swap stories and you know you can get together with your classmates and practice and all that stuff so um, link below for that it's danielscranton.com slash mega for that one um, what a great day off I had today I mean I just had the best couple days off um, for whatever reason, my I always had taken Fridays and Sundays, not instead of two days in a row. And I'm back to that schedule now. So um, we got to go for a hike in the forest. We went to the beach for about a minute before um, somebody started smoking pot. <laughs> and we were like, all right, let's go. It wasn't a great beach day anyway. Um, and uh, what else did we do today? Spent time with Taleo, of course, the baby. Um, she's doing fantastically well. Um, she's a little cranky in the car seat today, though, honestly. But um, she, for the most part, she's a very, very happy girl. Um, yeah, we just had a really, really nice family day here. Um, oh, yeah, it was Valentine's Day, and we didn't even, nobody cared. <laughs> My wife said to me at some point, she goes, Mercy texted me, wished me a happy Valentine's Day. And she told me exactly what, what our neighbor Mercy wrote. And it didn't even occur to me when she said it to say happy Valentine's Day, honey. And then like a half an hour later, I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> we're supposed to celebrate this. <laughs> so my dad, we talked to my dad today. He was like, he was blown away. He's like, you guys didn't do anything? You didn't even exchange cards? And we're like, no, we're pretty much on the same page. <laughs> or we just don't, we just don't care. <laughs> we're like that with our anniversary too. We're just not, I don't know, we just don't celebrate these things for whatever reason. We celebrate the moments, the minutes that we have together alone every night on the couch. That's what we celebrate. That's like a nightly celebration of like, Talia's asleep. We can just sit here and cuddle and talk and um, 
not worry <laughs> about what she's doing. Um, anyway, I'm on season seven of Ray Donovan, and it's uh, it's still so so good, so good, and um, sad that it'll be over at some point. I'm gonna f I'm gonna f start finally watching Homeland. I I've put this one off and put this one off. I know it's good. I know it's amazing. But I am going to start finally watching Homeland after uh, I finish with Ray Don. Anyway, I hope you uh, had a great weekend wherever you are. Uh, and everyone is safe and healthy in your life. And um, thank you for watching. Uh, blessings. And please subscribe if you are watching this on the YouTube. And everywhere else, I'll be back tomorrow doing it again. Possibly with this cat's help right here. Bye, everybody. Have a great one.